Hello everyone. Today we have with us Rishabh Singh. He has successfully cracked six offers from tech companies, all of 20 plus CTC, 20 lakhs plus CTC. He has also successfully uh, gone for ACM ICPC regionals, and he has he's a candidate master on Code Forces with a rating of 1934. Uh, and apart from that, uh, he also solves he speed cubing. Uh, he has an average of 10 seconds. So, uh, Rishabh, uh, would you like to tell about your offers? Uh, what are the six offers that you have? Uh, so, hi, everyone. So, uh, so as uh, you have introduced me, so basically the six offers that I have with uh, me right now are like from Directa Zeta, uh, from uh, Startup Tekion Corp. Uh, there was also an offer from Disney plus Hotstar. Then... Uh, there's an offer from Wells Fargo. Then there's also uh, an offer from Plumio and a startup also 84.ai. Yeah. So in total six offers. Okay, that's great. Uh, there are people who want, uh, who struggle to get one offer and you have six offers. That's amazing. Like, uh, apart from that, he even interned at Samsung Research Institute of Bangalore and Z Zeta Direct I. Uh, so, uh, Rishabh, what are your top two or three offers that we can discuss about in uh, the next part of the video? Uh, so, the top most offers for me would be uh, from Direct Tech, Azeta, and, uh, and Disney, the Sword Star. Okay, great. Uh, so, would you like to share your interview experience of uh, Zeta Direct Eye and how did you manage to crack? This as Zeta is considered, I think, one of the most difficult companies to crack. Yeah. So uh, I basically interned at Zeta. So there was an opening for six month internship uh, that came uh, rolled out in December 2020. I asked for a referral from an employer in LinkedIn. So was quite happy to refer me. And after that, uh, I was uh, given coding round by the company. I did pretty well. I solved all the questions and I got a call for the interview. Then there were two rounds of technical interviews. One was purely coding based, other one was story based. So in the first round, three coding questions were asked. And in the second round, theory subjects, type operating systems, computer networks. And yeah, these kinds of subjects were asked. And I figured both of them when I got a call for joining the internship in January. So yeah, till now I'm still doing an internship. And then I got a, my internship got converted into a pre-placement offer in between. That's how I got the data. Okay. So, uh, would you like to tell how you managed to convert the internship offer into a PPO offer? Uh, so, it's, it's, it's so usually like when you're doing a six month intern in some companies, there's a very high chance of getting the conversion to a PPO because in six months, definitely you're going to some good projects that are beneficial for the team. So, yeah, I did uh, three projects. And the last one was uh, very good. I was working with another intern who was from the Spilani. So we both of us worked together very hard on the project and we delivered the outcomes that was required by the team and the manager. So they were happy to convert it into a PPO, like all the people in the company. Yeah. So that's how it got converted. That's great. Uh, would you also like to discuss about the Hotstar offer that you got? What was the interview process and how did you manage to cra crack the same? Yeah, so I applied for Hotstar uh, by LinkedIn. So this applied directly on LinkedIn uh, on an opening that came out for 2021 graduates. Then I got a, a link for the coding round. I gave it. I did pretty well in that. I saw all the questions. Then after that, there were two rounds of coding interviews. Clear them, then all the there was a round of up with a tech lead. Uh, there he wanted to know more about my past experience and uh, he wanted to uh, test me on the basis of that as well. So after that, there was a fourth round of uh, HR round, normal HR round. Then I got a call for the offer from them. That's it. Okay. Uh, so now let's talk about your ACM ICPC journey. So ACM ICPC, as we all know, is the toughest thing in competitive programming. So how did you manage to uh, firstly get to the regionals and uh, what was your experience at, at the regionals? How was it? Yeah, so uh, I had been doing competitive programming 
since the end of my first year of college i just started it and i started enjoying solving coding problems a lot and when you are into competitive programming then i see cracking acmic pc regionals become a dream in the college so yeah like all of my team members and i also are dream you know crack acmic pc regional so for uh, like apart from the stuff that we did like solving problems on code forces and giving as many contests as possible on code forces code shop etc apart from that we also did give team contests on code forces on team so that we are we get a better understanding of each other's thinking abilities like and we also decide like who is going to write the code who is going to uh like solve the very easy problem first of all then who is going to attempt the hardest problem first of all and something like that so yeah we did uh try to understand each other as a team member very well and uh, just focus on managing uh, <clears throat> as a team that's how uh, we got into the cmic series and then we performed pretty well there as well okay great uh so now let's talk about your uh, code forces rating as well i know it's much easier than cracking acmic pc but still it's a b- big thing to be a candidate master on code forces so would you like to tell how you started and what would be your advice for anyone starting with competitive programming so yeah so i started with a course of competitive programming from a company so i did solve all the questions on that course then i moved on to code chef i start giving long challenges then i attained some like four star kind of level on code chef then i moved on to code forces that suggested by uh, some good seniors from my college that you know code forces is a must to have platform for competitive program then i started giving contests and i realized that you know it's a very necessary platform to basically develop your competitive programming skills uh, and then after like i used to give all the contests like i barely left in contest uh, during the college time like any day there was a contest uh, like i was there and and even some of my friends like most of my friends who were into computer program were there solving those contests and and it was very fun like when you're competing with friends or when we were we also competing with people all around the globe you can see your rank list you can see who is at the top in the college in the contest so yeah that kind of motivated me to perform even better the competition the healthy competition that motivated me to perform even better to increase my ratings as much as possible and gradually i ended up becoming candidate master on code forces so yeah that's it so okay so one more thing apart from wells fargo all your offers were off campus so did competitive if programming in any way help you get those offers or what was your uh, paper what 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 how did you basically get your off campus offers uh, because it's like very difficult to apply off campus when companies come on your campus it's relatively easy so what would be your tips and suggestions for those who are seeking off campus offers uh, did you use linkedin or how did you do that yeah so <clears throat> again a good, very good question so uh, like getting uh, opportunity to off campus is really difficult yeah so you have to fight for it like so let's say you find opening on linkedin apply it as soon as possible otherwise the link uh, the opening may end up or or you see an opening just ask for a referral from an employee of that company as soon as possible so all such stuff you have to do you have to be very active you have to be very active on linkedin you have to be very active among your friends group like you get to know about many openings from your friends as well uh which you didn't know yet so being active is the key like to get uh, getting you know chances for interviews in off campus and also make a very good resume like list down your most important skills your best experiences in computer engineering so far in your resume very well so that you know uh, like everyone is happy to take your interview and 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 that's it like make a good resume uh uh be proactive and and then also <clears throat> like preparing for interviews is also one very important thing so 
uh, regarding competitive programming, I think computing pro competitive programming helped me a lot in cracking offers. Why? Because uh, after doing so much of competitive programming, there was very less need of you know any extra preparation in the coding aspect. And I have to you know give interviews for the companies. I could crack interviews by very little preparation or no preparation at all because I was good at competitive programming. The questions asked in interviews are uh, either of the same level or a lesser level in competitive programming. And one who does competitive programming well can easily crack coding interviews at least without much of a preparation, in my opinion. So that's how competitive programming helps you in interviews. It also helps you in thinking faster or during the interviews, right? Because you've done so much of complete programming, your focus is on time, like how quickly you're going to solve a problem. So yeah, it helps you like do everything fast. Okay, great. Uh, so now let's talk about uh, CP, CP versus development. So you have done CP. So what would be your advice for someone starting out in his first or second year to do CP or to do development or to do, do both? Uh, yeah, so it depends completely on the interest of the person. I think the person person should definitely try to explore his own interest, should try hands on CP, should try hands on development the very first year so that, so that he gets a clear idea of, you know, where he stands, like in which category he belongs. And I think both of them are good. Like if you're doing CP, then it's very beneficial for your job interviews, etc. like for getting interviews and for cracking coding interview CPs are very beneficial. Regarding development, like if you're doing development, then that means you're gaining experience in, in like experience, uh, you're getting that experience that you're going to get when while working in a company already. So that is beneficial in that sense. And also along with development, you must do something like lead code or geeks for weeks so that you know you are well prepared for coding interviews as well. So completely depends on the interest of the person what he or she tries or he or she wants to do. Uh, both of them are good. Uh, <clears throat> like both of them will you know, help you achieve your dream. Mapping. Okay, that's great. Uh, so, Rishabh, I can see a cube on the table. So, would you like to solve one cube and show everyone? Let's see how much time do you take. Uh, yeah, sure. So, like I will just scramble, give it a bit of more scramble and then show it to you. So I think it's pretty scramble now and I will just begin solving it. So let's do it. So it's done. So oh, yeah. That's quite fast. <laughs> so even Rishabh is making videos on Instagram about cubing. So you can check out that. I will attach the link in the description. And I'll also attach Rishabh's LinkedIn profile and uh, code pushes profile. So you can ask him if you have any queries personally. Uh, so thanks Rishabh very much for the interview. And I, I'm pretty sure this would be very insightful and helpful for anyone who's coming, uh, preparing for uh, any big tech company.